Hey everybody, welcome back, and welcome to the last screencast that we're going to have up for now, this one featuring pre-compiled templates. Um, so it might be the case that instead of loading your content internally um, and using dynamic content within Roots, you may actually have an API that you're trying to hit up to get your content back. For example, I work at the most wonderful company, Carrot Creative, and we have an API to display information about our staff. And so on our staff page, we use this API to pull in the data and render it all. But as you guys can see, there's a whole lot of data going on here. Um, and typically, when you render it out, I have a quick Ajax load showing up here, where it's just loading in this URL as JSON and spitting out the data. And I do have a very bare bones example site, looks like this, that I spun up with Roots. And I can see that that response is coming back with all the staff. Um, but when you load this up, in order to inject it into the page, I'm sure that you're all familiar with the very, very tedious process of manually building out HTML strings and then looping through each of those and adding them to the, the DOM, which is just a huge, huge pain. I would much rather have some sort of template that I could render it into that I don't have to write in JavaScript. Um, and so that's what I'm going to go over here. Roots does have the ability to write Jade templates and have those rendered out as JavaScript functions that you will have access to um, on your site. So here we have, again, the basic Ajax request, getting back our data, and we'd like to write out a brief template that drops into this UL the names of each of the staff members for Care Creative. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it out by going to the app.coffee file, and down here you can see a little bit of um, a comment about client-side JS frameworks, etc. I didn't feel the need to set up um, Backbone or anything for this example, but of course if you're familiar with that, you'll immediately see uh, the potential usefulness of this. And so I'm going to comment this out um, with use templates and uh, you could set this path to whatever you want uh, wherever you store your templates but I'm just going to keep that as the default and inside of views I'm going to create a new folder called uh, templates and inside of this I'm going to put a new jade file called uh, staff.jade um, and inside of this file I can write out jade as normal um, I'm going to put a li here for the list item and inside of that I'll put a paragraph and have it equal um, let's see what do we want so we're going to loop through each of these staff members and pull out the name specifically so let's have it render out a name here um, and so now we have all of our setup complete and since I've made changes to app.coffee I'm just going to quickly uh, restart my watcher um, to get that config back to being set up. Um, so here's our new site. So now that I have the templates activated, I actually, if I look inside my public folder, have a new JavaScript file. And this is a minified, um, really crazy looking piece of JavaScript. But essentially what this has done is it's created a JavaScript template out of my Jade file and prepared this as a um, global templates object. So all we need to do to get this template into our page is actually include this file into our layout. So let's jump into the layout here. And um, I'm going to actually change this over from require.js because I just don't want to exactly deal with that at the moment. So we're just going to directly load um, slash js slash main. Uh, .js, if I'm not mistaken, that will be the route. And then additionally, we have um, slash js slash templates.js. So looking in public, we can ensure that this is indeed correct. And it looks like we do have main and templates there, so these should load properly. Um, and we have require being not defined here. Um, not a big deal. All we need to do is make a quick change here, um, get rid of this require piece. And we do need to manually include jQuery as well. So here's, um, as, as bonus content, a brief demo of how to transition from required back to just normal JavaScript includes. And so here we have a, a jQuery error, which we knew that we would get. And we do indeed know how to solve this. Let's go script src equals jQuery. Um, so here we are back to normal. We've got that Ajax pull coming in. Um, and now we should have a variable called templates available at the window level. Um, so here we go, we do have templates, and inside of this there is a function um, called staff. So each of the files inside of our templates folder will be compiled into a function 
with the key being the name of the file and the value being the function we need to execute. Um, so let's go back to our JavaScript now. Um, and we'll get rid of this. And so now what we can do is we can iterate through each of these objects which represent a staff member. So I'm going to say for staff in response.data, I'm just going to have it console.log out the staff member to make sure we're still in the clear. And it looks like we are. Um, so now all we need to do is call templates templates dot staff and execute that function passing in our staff member and I'm actually just going to change this name briefly to staff member because it's a little bit confusing so let's do that um, and so let's just console.log this out to make sure that we're good uh, there we are and it looks like it is actually rendering out our template properly there's all the staff that currently work at Carrot and so now all we have to do is just make a quick selection of that UL and just have it append in um, this LI and so here we go on the page we are immediately loading up um, all of the Carrot staff and all of their names and we do actually have access to all the rest of their information if we wanted to expand this template out later but now that everything's wired up and working properly just wanted to show you guys a quick example of how this works and so this is a huge huge time saver um, if you're using a lot of APIs or if you're using some client side um, JavaScript libraries like maybe Ember or Angular or Backbone um, just really cuts off a lot of time, makes life a lot easier being able to write those Jade templates in here and have them render out so quickly. So that's all I wanted to show you for this one. I hope that's helpful and thank you guys for watching.